mixed reactions trail the proclamation of the regional security outfit codenamed Ibube Agu by the Southeast governors. Those who spoke to Daily Sun were not satisfied with the processes leading to the establishment of the security outfit, particularly as there was yet to be any laws backing it up. The Alaibo Development Foundation described the setting up of Ibubiagu as a good idea, though belated, but said it cannot be believed until they saw their seriousness. The Alaibo Development Foundation noted that it was the same way the governors had promised to set up a regional security outfit in February 2020. After an email B. Ohanese resolution at Nike Lake, Enugu, but nothing happened one year down the time. The group's spokesman, Abia Onyike, said, We can't take them serious until they start doing something concrete. For now, they are merely playing to the gallery. Onike added that it was not just enough to pronounce on the regional security without or the security outfit without a law banning open phrasing. There should be a law banning open grazing of cattle in the southeast. The law should be passed in the five states of the houses. House of Assembly. To orally make an announcement banning open grazing shows lack of commitment on the part of the governors. They are being smart. Again, we would like to know their logistic preparations. Where are their vehicles and other operational facilities and equipment, like in the case of Amoteko in Yoruba land? Let the Southeast governors go and use the draft bill prepared by the Alaigo Development Foundation in 2017 to make binding laws against open grazing. If they fail to do that, then it exposes them further as unserious people. Respondents also said the greatest challenge is how to manage the Ebube Agu and the Eastern Security Network of the indigenous people of Biafra already operating in the region. They expressed concern that having parallel security outfits for the zone was a frightful idea, especially as the Eastern Security Network had taken shape and also gained street credibility. For such people, the Ebubeagu of the governors was a mere pacification move. An Abuja-based lawyer, Oziyama Izora, argued that there was nothing like Ebubeagu until the state's Houses of Assembly legislated the security outfit into being. It does not exist at the moment. This was not how Amoteko was established. There has to be enabling laws first. She also advised the Southeast governors to invite the leadership of the Eastern Security Network, noting that the IPOP had shown leadership in establishing the Eastern Security Network. The governors should eat the humble pie and acknowledge that and acquire that and draw them in so they can match. In fact, the leadership of the Eastern Security Network should be expanded 
with appointees of the governors, while Ebu Beago should embark on training so that they can rise above mere vigilante groups, Izwara said. Regardless, the former Nigerian envoy to Singapore, Nonye Rajis Opara, held the governors for the establishment of Ibubeagu. Rajis Opara in a statement said the establishment of Ibubeagu was a welcome development. The bold decision to uh, resolve to work as a team and in unity is a welcome development. Nothing and no one can stop a vision that its time has come. The people of the Southeast have long desired to see this action and unity of purpose among our governors. It's in unity that God commands his blessings, he said. He said the formation of Ibubeagu, though long overdue, was an action in the right direction. Seeing that terrorism and banditry have become the order of the day in Nigeria. The recent activities in the southeast is very worrisome. This new development has made our people excited, hopeful, and grateful to our governors for putting aside their political differences for the common good of the people. However, to achieve their vision, the Southeast governors will need the support and cooperation of relevant stakeholders to ensure the fight against terrorism and banditry in the region is successful. I will therefore like to use this opportunity to plead with everyone, especially our political leaders and the federal government to give them the necessary support and encouragement to enable them to succeed in their mission. This is not the time for fault finding, criticizing of leadership, or doubting their intentions, Rajis Opara said. In the same manner, the former chairman of the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, Sam Amadi, dismissed the decision of the governors as feeble both in the quality of thinking and political will displayed by the Akomnik. He said, there was so much hesitation, hedging and prevarication on the part of the governors. Yet, they had no law backing the outfit and body to implement the anti-open grazing they mounted. Sadly, every day, these governors prove the indigenous people of Biafra right to say that the Eastern Security Network is our only hope. I don't want the Eastern Security Network. I wanted a state regulated but effective security outfit and structure that will make it impossible for communities to be attacked like in Eboi, he said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop ahead the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.